YouTube and Twitter. Twitter is Yafo Web and YouTube is also Yafo Web. So we are currently live streaming. Joshua, your channels and finance, if our streaming is really going well, and then give me feedback in the in the chat as well so that we proceed. So good evening to you all once again. I'll proceed. So I'm going to share my slides now screen. Please, I need feedback. Can you all see my screen? Yes, please. Yes, I yes. can see. Yes, please. Okay. okay. under the team, developing youth in blockchain workforce to unlocking with, uh, opportunities in the digital future. Uh, we we know uh, we used not to order food online and eyes have become part of us from, please let us all mute our mics um, from Taxis, well, we have Uber. So, so now, most basically, we can stay in the room and then do our whole activity for the day on, on online. So, the Web3 is already upon us. So, that is what we, our focus is going to be. And our focus is going to be on the kind of skills that we need so that in the, in the Web3, we can also play a very critical role. And uh, we play a very critical role in the Web3. My presentation will focus on uh, blockchain fundamentals. We'll look at uh, blockchain use cases. Then we'll look at blockchain skill sets. Uh, then we talk about digital wallet. Then the project catalyst that will prepare us for fan tour. And then other remote jobs in the in the crypto ecosystems. Okay. So... I'm proceeding when we are, like I mentioned, we, we, we've we witnessed a lot of uh, revolution, but currently we are going into the fourth industrial revolution, which is all about in, uh, uh, digitalization or we we'll say decentralized technology. Uh, please, J Joseph, I've muted you uh, almost about three times now, and I mute you, your mute is not helping the meeting. So please uh, mute yourself and then let us co continue our, this, our presentation peacefully. Thank you very much. Okay, so like I mentioned, the fourth industrial revolution, we are looking at artificial intelligence, machine language, internet of things, 3D printing, robotics, and virtual reality a lot. But we can attest that, oh, this Web3 space, when we mention Web3, we, we are looking at a world that has transitioned from Web1 to Web3 with, with Web1. All that we're doing is that we were taking information from the internet, that is Web1. Then Web2 came, the Web2 is our, a typical example is our social media. So now we not only take or read information, but we are able to write information as well. You, you understand that is uh, the, the Web2, but with Web3, Web we are able to create identity on the internet and we we have like digital own even the internet own, own assets on the internet and everything so that is what web3 is giving us so we we are able to uh, with with the emergence of cryptocurrency you are able to own digital assets which is of huge value but we we people we didn't own anything others are able to own nfts which are lands uh, people are able to own nft in the metaverse and whatnot, and they are really worth uh, huge values. And so that is what Web3 is giving us, giving us some sort of ownership on the, on the internet space. So when we say blockchain, when we look at IBM, uh, IBM, it says blockchain is a decentralized digital ledger that records the provenance of digital assets. So now we are able to, uh, blockchain is like a technology that is hel helping us to record 
uh, or financial or asset. We are able to trace it. And from the definition, the, the key word is leisure, which is a collection of financial accounts, digital asset. It can be as a, anything of value, like your PDF file that is of value, and then it's decentralized. Now, uh, a typical example of blockchain, we can use example like uh, your Google, as you can use Google document or maybe our WhatsApp group page. You see, if you look at your WhatsApp group, it's like a, a blockchain because what anybody says, it is decentralized and we are all participating over there. And we are using the content that we write on the WhatsApp group as our digital asset. And if somebody makes changes, we are able to know that maybe Mary said something at seven o'clock. It's, it records it. And if you put something, we assume it is Mary. Unless Mary comes to say, maybe uh, I, this was not for me. Somebody had taken my phone and wrote this thing. Everybody will assume that it is you. You, you understand? So it's the same thing. When you take Google document, if you are writing, if somebody come and delete it, it records that this person has deleted, uh, Kofi has deleted something from the Google Doc, and you are it's recorded in, in that manner. So, and when you talk of control, unlike our uh, WhatsApp page uh, example, that, that we have only the group admin controlling the page with uh, blockchain, we have set up notes that uh, you use to access the blockchain, and people are rewarded to keep the data intact. And that's how uh, the, the blockchain works. There are types of blockchains. We have private, uh, public blockchain, private blockchain, hybrid blockchain, consortium blockchain. There, we will not bother and go too much into it, but a public blockchain is like a Bitcoin blockchain. Uh, it's like a, a Bitcoin blockchain that is public. It's open to everybody. But when you look at a private blockchain, that one is limited. It, so highly regulated financial markets can use private blockchain. And... It opens some aspect to the public. It keeps some aspect private. Uh, example, like if you are running maybe a health system on a blockchain, you can use private because not everything about individuals' worth, uh, health must go public. And so you so that you can keep some information on in, in private and other information access to the, the, the public. But if you are running something like a health DAB and then you use a, a public blockchain, you are opening it to everybody, every information to everybody. But we then we have hybrid blockchain. That one combines public and then private blockchain together. And then we have consortium blockchain that combines all the three, public, private, and hybrid all together. Now, if you look at how the blockchain works, we are looking at maybe, uh, if you request a transaction on maybe a computer, that creates a block. And once the transaction is requested, a block is created automatically. Then the, the NUS, which are the network of computers, Okay, they, they broadcast this uh, transaction to all the, the nodes so that they get to know what is happening at that material moment. Then the node will validate what has happened so that nobody can tamper with it, nobody can change it. And so basically that's how a blockchain works. Now, if we are to, if you are to interact with it, you can scan this thing with your phones. Uh, you can scan this, this image that you see. If you scan it, it will give you a feel about how the blockchain is. Now, when you scan, you should see something like this. Now, you have uh, block one, block two, block three, blockchain number one, blockchain number two, blockchain number three, block one, block two, block three, block four. Now, because it's, 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 we are working on a screen, you can pay attention to and then you can understand what uh, I, I, I'll share when it comes to blockchain. And you can understand it from here. Now, if you look at block one, if you look at here, the block name are there, block one, block two, up to block four. Now, block one, the nuance value is here. This nuance value are generated automatically. And the data that is here, you just uh, you just have to put it, put something there. If you put a, a, a data there, then you mine it. You, you mine the, the data. So I should have done this part of our video, maybe uh, more practical rather than a, a screen. So that I can be doing it and share the screen, and then so you I'll try this. If you, you are not able to understand, I can do the practical one. So 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 let just bear with me. So we have the data. The data here I've written the I love Africa. Once you write the data, you click on mine. When you click on mine, then uh, you get a previous hash, and then you the hash value of this data is automatically generated here at the hash. Now when you go to block two, what happens there is that. 
you just have to you enter a new data set after African Continental Free Trade Agreement is also here. After is here. And then uh, what I, I, I did here is that after it's a great deal, then you, you click on mine, then block three, whatever data you put there after Secretariat is in Ghana, then I click mine and then it's mine, create its own one value and then we continue in, in that manner. Then block four, I, I wrote something like uh, I, Africa Africans must trade with each other. So that is the data in block four. And when I mine, I created a new hash value here. Now, the magic is, when you look at block one, the hash value here is the same value when you look at the previous here for block two. And the hash value for block two, you find it on previous, which is on block three. You see the same thing on previous, which is block three previous. So this is what we call a chain. So you see that this is chaining here and this is chaining here and this is chaining here. And so that makes it a blockchain. So it's a chain of data. So that, that is how it works. And what makes it immutable is that when you compare set A and B, set B, what I did here is that I changed the data that is here, which is after Secretariat is in Uganda, but previously it was in Ghana. So I just changed Ghana to Uganda and the block has turned into red. This means that it doesn't agree with the data that is here. And block four is also raising red alarm because they know that their previous hash value, which is here, was that of what? Uh, block, uh, this one. The, the, the previous hash value here was for that of block three. And that is not what is here. And so there has been changes. And so it won't agree with this block. The data here is wrong. So it won't agree. That was not what was there. It won't agree with it. Now, the magic will happen if I change this to Ghana, it will just go back and it will sync automatically. That is how it, it works. So this is just a, a demonstration. You can scan here and put in any data. When you put in the data, just click on mine and put in the next data, in the next block and click on mine. Continue. Like if you don't mind, the data will not sync. The hash values will not be created. That's why it's important to mine. Once you enter the data, just click mine, click this and mine. That's all. Now we are going to look at blockchain use cases. Blockchain use cases, the first use case we are looking at um, the problem of copyright. You know, uh, most Ghanaians, musicians talk about copyright and how they are being cheated and whatnot. Now, to solve copyright issues, we you can use the blockchain to, to create what? Royalty calculation. Uh, blockchain can create the royalty calculation fast transparent and secured with a temple proof and easily auditable database. So you can do that with the blockchain. And with this, you can look at www.ujumusic.com and they are already doing it. It's not a new idea that doesn't exist. These people are already doing it. Then you can also look at uh, lack of better title, the problem of uh, lack of better title and opaque land registry system. People who have tried buying land in Ghana are aware of this problem and you can use blockchain to min, mint land title as nfts for easy and transparent property transfer and access to land ownership details and landano www you can check landano.com.io they are already leading in this technology that i'm talking about and they are helping in that avenue so you can use blockchain to keep land titles and in ghana you will never know a land owner until you go to lands commission and they will pick. If you don't ask them, you don't know. And that's why there are a lot of fraud in land. And then land litigations too are also plenty of in in Ghana. And then this is also a working platform. That is what we are going to talk about, Project Catalyst. It's also a working platform. And Project Catalyst also in bulk loan application processes. So to prevent uh, as, uh, the problem of access to capital and also having to fill a lot of loan application forms, bring this document, go and bring that. You know, some people are even running small business, they don't have a lot of documents. So the moment they say, bring this, bring that, then they just, they don't go to the bank again. But with the catalyst is also allowing, come and submit ideas. And uh, so, uh, use blockchain to allow for fast round raising and approval process by what ecosystem. So we all participate in the ecosystem and then we 
we we vote on which idea that needs funding and then or deserve to be funded and then the idea is funded and then uh, the person is giving the money to go and execute that idea you need a lot of some different kind of skills and i'll use myself as an example uh, uh my risk background is economics geography and law i, I don't have IT background, but uh, I'm here explaining blockchain to you. And so you don't need to be a, a technical person, although I've undertaken some technical blockchain courses, you don't really need it to become a, to do anything in the blockchain space. And a lot of skills sets are needed. So if you are here and you are a technical person, then it means you are even doing yourself a more a more disservice. It doesn't mean that technical people are not needed. A lot of technical people are needed. And these are some of the skills. We will not dive deep into it we need blockchain developers blockchain programming la la language like uh, solidity and bluetooth they need people who can code in these languages uh people know H html or nc plus plus bluetooth react and some other languages but you need to add this ones and from experience if you you know html c plus plus and python you you need about two weeks of intensive learning to just understand coding and solidity and also Bluetooth. It's not difficult. And then we have the Web3 uh, um, like library. And we have also smart contract security. And you can also be a, 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 a smart contract a de developer. You can, these are technical skills. Um, decentralized uh, identity, crypto, cryptographic technique, and uh, token standardization. Myself, I can create... Um, a, a, a cryptocurrency, I can create token on any uh, block uh, any blockchain network. I'm 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 able to create it, but you don't require huge technical skills to to do some of these things. So I, I'm that's why I always say I use myself as an example. Then we have off chain solutions, and we we uh, we look at smart contract testing and deployment. They are all things you can specialize in, and then you you do them. Decentralized finance. I've also uh, and uh, that do some one or two things in decentralized finance. How to raise loans using your digital asset to raise money and whatnot. You can do that in in, in Diffy. Then oracles. How to bring real world information to the blockchain. You you can use that oracle to also specialize. That these are technical avenues that if you are here on this call and you are an IT person, don't serve yourself less because we the non IT people. Are even clocking huge so don't do yourself at the service and if you are like me and you don't have much skills the technical people don't also have some soft skills and they need it like communication is very important ui research you know when they are going to create an application let's say facebook they spend a lot of time in user interface research that is if somebody is logging in on the app, what should they see? How would they be able to interact with the app easily? That will make them enjoy the app. These are research people specialize in and they can just give you detail of it. And then whatever, if you are going to maybe create a, a food, a, a vending app, the way people can order food, you do use that uh, interface research for the person and you take your money and tell the person, if somebody wants to use other food, they want to see maybe a uh, click here to order. They want to see the food displaying in their pictures and whatnot. So that the person, the, the technical people can take all this information and then go and code it and let it display as the research ha has been conducted. We have community managers. Most of the Web3 ecosystem, they need community managers because they have Telegram page, Facebook page, Twitter page, um, Discord pages that they need people to manage and engage their followers because crypto is all about a narrative that is, is worth buying into so that people can Buy, uh, buy, buy into that narrative. That that's what they do in, in Web three. Uh, ethical awareness, marketing, negotiating skills, dispute resolution, adapt adaptation, and what continuous learning. These are all soft skills that you 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 need to participate in a Web Web three ecosystem. You don't need uh, extraordinary skills. Even soft skills that I have not added. Public speaking, like this presentation I'm doing, you can you you they are all part because sometimes projects need people to who can explain the project better and make them understand. And, you know, sometimes most of the technical people, they are unable to break down whatever technical language that they have into human consumption, like for people to understand it simply. Because he's talking about 
C++ and uh, deploy this thing. And sometimes the, the, when you see the, the, the technical people interacting on the GitHub, they are talking, they, they are doing everything in code. And it's difficult sometimes for them to break it to people understanding. And if you that you are having the soft skills and you can break it down, you just understand it from the technical point of view and make it simple for how people can understand it and then move, move, move with it. Simple. And, and, and you are there. So interacting with the Web3 space, you need what we call wallet. Because when you work in the Web3 web space, be it you write content for somebody and maybe content on the Web3 website or whatnot, they will pay you, they will pay you in cryptocurrency because they will use digital assets to pay you. And so you need to have web wallets that can accept some of these digital assets. Now, the, the, the wallets, some, some are able to accept the cryptocurrency, others are able to accept NFT. In addition, now we categorize this wallet into three. Into three, we have the hot wallet, we have the cold wallet, and then we have the exchange wallet. Now, the difference is about security. Now, the hot wallets, they are hot because they are always online. You need internet to access them. We have Uroi, uh, Eternal, we have Metamask, we have Trust Wallet. You need internet to access them. Now, we have the cold wallet. Cold wallet, you don't need internet to access them. They, they, are, they are hardware wallets. So it's like, like pen drive. So anytime you want to transfer money or receive money, you just uh, plug in the way you, you insert your 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 um your pen drive in your machine you just put in the, the wallet in there and then it it the interface comes and then you use internet to connect and then you do whatever you want to do with your with your wallet but if you are done with a transaction you just take your your pen drive out so that is how the code wallet operates i'm using pen drive because uh that is how you can relate some of them come with a, it's like um your your visa card and then you scan others come like simple, simple devices that you can scan on it. And then you, you continue with whatever you want to do, like the safe power wallet. And then Tez Te Tezos come in the form of like pen drive. Some also come in the form of like uh, uh, your ATM card. Uh -huh. Then the, we have the exchanges. The exchanges, we have Binance, we have Coinbase, LBank, Gits, uh, Gits.io, we have BitAfrica, and a, a whole lot. It is in no particular order that I've mentioned these few. They are not sponsoring this activity that we are doing. But with the exchanges, we look at them like a bank. You know, in crypto, in, in the world of digital uh, ownership, always we advocate that you must always have control over your cryptocurrencies. And so we don't admonish that people put their money on exchanges. That's why it's in red. The difference is that it's security. Exchanges are susceptible to hacking. And sometimes the exchange can go down under the bus, like we have FTS that collapse, like just like any other bank can collapse, exchanges can collapse. But sometimes in the news, when exchange collapse, they write the, they, they do it as if bank has never collapsed and people's money have locked there before. But it's the same thing with crypto exchanges. If the exchange collapse, your money gets locked up over there. Like a bank collapse, your money gets locked up there. And in Ghana, we have banks that have collapsed and people have had this experience firsthand. But if it happens in cryptocurrency, it's like news. You, you every headline is carrying it and whatnot. As if so, we too you also admonish that don't keep your money on what um exchanges. You only put your money on exchange when you want to liquidate it into your maybe Ghana CD or something. That's where you you, you take your money there. So the, those who participated in Fan Eleven, you have all your assets in your Royal wallet, which is very important. Now, how do you create it? For the purpose of this video, we will use your wallet because that is what we use for the project catalyst. Now, you have first have to download the your wallet. The name is your If you open your um if you open your wallet, uh sorry, if you open your Play Store, okay, you can download the app there. You can do this. Sorry. If you open your Play Store, you you will you will see your you will see your wallet there. When you when, when you open your Play Store, you can or Apple Store, you just type your Roy, you find it there and you download. When you download, open it. When you open, you see this interface. This is the first interface you see. You see create wallet, restore wallet, and connect to 
Ledger not a uh, nano. What you are supposed to do here is just click create. If you don't have wallet, you click create. If you have wallet already, you will have to restore the wallet that you already have. Then you it will come to this interface. When you come here, you enter your spending password and then you repeat your spending password. For fan 11, when the money came and uh, we were doing the cash out, people had forgotten this spending password as if they were not the people who put it there. But the good news is that if you have your recovery freeze, you can always remember uh, reset your spending password. The actual password is step three, this one. If you misplace this password, you have misplaced your wallets and every digital asset that is in there. You can never get access to it anymore. And, and so those who went through that challenge, we were able to let them use this one to reset it. But please, the spending password is something that you'll be required anytime you are sending money out of your wallet, you put in, you you enter the spending password like your normal regular password and you put it there. Now, step four, you see the recovery phase you have here. It is in order. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. So quality is six. Midnight is seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it is in that order. So when you come here, you are supposed to enter it in that order. Once you enter, you just click what? Uh, the green button here and then you proceed and then your wallet to open at all times you don't need to show anybody this this recovery freeze the reason is that when you show anybody this recovery freeze the the person can take your money in your wallet this recovery freeze that you see it is a dummy wallet no nothing is inside i don't have a pin in in this wallet it's just purposely for this video that's why i'm showing this you don't put it online you don't write it to to send to anybody if you do that, somebody can take your money anywhere. And when, if I'm even in Azerbaijan and you are in Ghana, all I need is the recovery fee. Be mindful. You don't show this to your girlfriend or your boyfriend, anybody. Keep it to yourself. It's very, very important. Now, participating in the web three ecosystem are organized in the form of DAO. And DAO are short abbreviation for what we call decentralized autonomous organization so d-o-d our distributed project mostly you have the token being created and then you have an ngo that owns the token and then you have the ngo setting up the finance they decide on what they vote on and whatnot. So everything with the DAO organizations, it's like centralized control when it comes to cryptocurrency. So everything is community the DAO. So it is in a form of codes and we've coded everything, whatever we want to do. So let's say this vendor machine, if you want to put in drink, it's in the form of a code. Then you, you follow the code, the drinks comes in. If you want to take out drink, the same code procedure, the drinks comes out. Now, if for for instance, you say maybe where we put money, you want to add, uh, let's say you want to add another form of payment so, so that people just insert the coin there, but you also want to make it possible that they can put paper as well. You just submit it as a proposal and the community will go through the proposal. They vote. When they vote and agree, then they come and make that change. If they don't agree, they don't make that change. It's, it's, it's that simple. You can't make any changes in the crypto ecosystem if people have not voted on it yet. Okay, so somebody's asking how safe the recovery password is. Uh, it's this wallet. Okay, they are decentralized wallets. They are the safest password you can ever get or they are the safest wallets you can ever get in crypto. Then this one as well, the code where they are also the safest. And in all, this one operates with recovery phase. This the reason is that if somebody has like it in the particular order that it is arranged, the person cannot log in into the wallet. So let's say if this one belongs to you, but you didn't write it in order. You just write it randomly and you put it somewhere. And the person doesn't know the order in which they are written. Like this one is one, two, three, four. You have a combination of 15 
and it's difficult for you to be able to come up with the right combination to enter. Even if you change Eurotion, you, you change Eurotion to maybe, you, you swap Eurotion and bonus, you just swap them. It is not the wallet, it won't open. You write everything or then you just swap the wallet, it won't open. So that's how safe this uh, recovery phrase is. That's why we say don't share it. So moving on, uh, the decentralized autonomous organization, any changes that you want to make, you would, um, you have to basically submit a proposal and that proposal will be looked at by the entire community. Now, the next aspect is going to be our project catalyst, how we work in the uh, blockchain ecosystem. And with the project catalyst, we are looking at only the blockchain ecosystem called Cardano. Cardano is the only ecosystem that we are looking at. And with them, they have what we call project catalyst, which is their idea ideas, innovation place that encourages people to submit idea. And there are a lot of work in the value chain. Now, Project Catalyst allow people to submit ideas. When you submit the ideas, it also allow people to come and review the ideas. When they review the ideas, then it allow people to come and vote on the ideas. And when they vote on the ideas, the ideas that win the voting round, they get funding to go and in undertake that idea. Now, where we come in is we work as reviewers on the Project Catalyst platform. Now, moving to fund 12, th those who are experienced can decide to submit proposals on their own. If they win, fine. But those who are inexperienced, you, you always admonish that you start as a reviewer so that you read more people's ideas. Then you realize that, oh, you also have similar ideas around these things. And you can also do that in Ghana. You know, no, no idea is new under the sun. So your work as a reviewer is to review proposals. When you review the proposal, you get paid. And that is why we, we call it working in the what? In Web3 ecosystem. You get paid. You just sit in your room. You pick your laptop. You have internet access. You read the proposal. You write your mind or your, your, your thoughts. And you assess it in a, in a very analytical and objective manner. Our subsequent interaction will have to do it. We'll focus on how assessment is done. So right now, we are not going to talk about how assessment is done. We are just going to talk about how the platform is and how you can onboard and how you can participate. We will do another event and we'll talk about how to what, do the assessment later. So Fan12, if you want to participate in Fan12, this is the website. So please take note of the website. The website is very important. I will share it in the chat box, but those who can pick it, make sure you pick it. The website is uh, www.cardano.idsk.com. You can add slash a slash register. And what you need to sign up is just your email and password. You don't do anything. The purpose why I was doing this is that, uh, you know, when you talk about cryptocurrencies and blockchain in our part of the world, people think you are coming to scam them. And so, because of that, me, I don't talk about blockchain, uh, cryptocurrency, investment, or whatnot. No, I, I don't I don't share information about that, mostly. I talk about you coming to work there. When you work and you get the money, you, decide you want to invest them, that one is a different thing. But working here, you just need your email and password. And you don't require payment for anything, no. Now, when you, get, when you click on this website, when you go to this, when you use this URL exactly, you, this page will open up exactly for you. Now, when it opens, you say, create your account. You enter your email, you put your password, then you select your language. If you speak French, you just select French. Then you take this checkbox and then you click register. Once you register, you will receive an email from Project Catalyst that verified. So you'll be given this code. You just click on verify. You go and enter this code there. But your verification code is 165830. That is what I had here. So you just click on, and then you go and enter the, 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 the code there and then you verify now once you are done very verifying you open into your uh you log in into the platform so this is the platform input input output hong kong so this is the platform now those who are if you have already created the account maybe this platform may not pop up this platform will not pop up uh may not pop up but if it doesn't pop up don't don't worry but uh, if they launch it and it pops up, 
there's a way you, you, you can look for this form in your uh, in your profile. But once Fan12 is launched, all the uh, all people or persons who already have an account, this platform will pop up again and they will ask you to come and register for Fan12. So when you create the account, relax. They, they, it will come that we have to register to participate in Fan12. This is important. I know people who, after creating the account, they didn't go to register to participate in the Fan11. So when it was time, they didn't participate. They didn't get any um, allocated proposals to assess. So please take note. So here, but what is important is that when you, you get, if you create the account new, this will, this will pop up. Now, when this pop up, what is important is that you just put your first name, last name, put your username, you select your time zone, but this is why it's important. You come and put your rewarding award here. You see reward ad uh, address. So when you create your wallet, when you create this wallet, when you create the wallet and you open your wallet, you see receive and what? Send. When you, 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 you teach you how to copy your address. When you copy your address, you just come and paste your address here. Cop copy your receiving address. If you are receiving digital assets, you click on receive. And you come and cop paste paste the address here. People didn't paste address here. That's why some, some of you, too, when you did the work, you didn't get paid. Because your, your, where to receive your money, you didn't put it there. You didn't follow the instruction to put your money there. So they don't know where to pay you. So they didn't pay you. So if it happens like that, it means you have worked for God. And then you just pray when you all get to heaven and you receive our reward there. But if you put your reward here, uh, address here, they'll pay you open your wallet, you see your digital asset there. Then how we bring it to mobile money, that one is uh, another story. Just leave it to me. Just work hard and make sure that you are paid in your digital asset. So that will be another thing. Here you, you can select edit, you just leave it like that. Then you proceed and then you just submit it. That's all. And you are done. Then you have created your profile to work. Sometimes they, they ask you for which. Uh, they call it challenge. Which challenge you are comfortable with. So you select some of these challenges. And for Fan11, I'm using Fan11 um, information because Fan12 will be launched next week on, I think, 26th of April. If Fan12 is launched, they will tell us the categories or the they will tell us the the the, the challenge the challenge settings that they agreed on for Fan12. So that will be, will be said. If these same challenges are repeated, fine. But mostly they add new. They take something out, and from my experience, they always add something new or take something out. So this thing that you see here, some will change. But if you don't have much of technical skill, I recommend Cardano Open Ecosystem and sometimes here too as well, um, use case here or solutions, new new ideas. But if you go here, here is more technical, here is technical, here is a bit technical for you. And they talk about, they submit proposals in languages that, in ideas that you may not understand. But in this world, we have ChatGPT, we have Google. So even if you don't understand the technical language, once you Google it, First, they say what um, SDK. You are reading. You know some of the developers when they are writing, they they write in abbreviations like IT people, typical IT people. They they say I'll use the API to set SPA and what not and what not. And you you don't know what API is. You don't know what SDK is and and what not. You just Google them. You find the full meaning and then you can appreciate the sentence better. And then you proceed to your assessment. So uh, I think for the previous one I, I came and put like a whole list of abbreviations to our community. I also share our community so that people can join our community as well. That if you're on the coin, you have not joined our community, I'll share that. Now, if you want more information about Project Catalyst, this website will help you. From fan one to fan 11, every information is there. If you want to appreciate it, and they are funded projects from fan one to fan 11, they are funded projects. So if you are new, we it is not new to us it's something that goes on all the time so please this is projectcatalyst.io so you can visit there and you can look at the idea that has been funded in the past and all is there now this is fan 11 timeline this is not fan 12 timeline so when they launched fan uh, 
12, like you see, fan 12 was launched, uh, fan 11 was launched somewhere November 3rd in what? Uh, November in what? Uh, 2023, that was last year. So we participated in it. When it is launched, la launching was what? 15th. Then they will call for proposal submission. So proposal submission finalizing was December 7th, 2023. Then review work began on 14th of what? It began on 14th of December to what? 25th of uh, January, which was 2024. And review ended. We had about uh, 21 days to do the review. Then the after that they they will do what the the this whole thing the review here is long because it's it's five weeks five weeks is the, is break down into two we have the first community reviewers that is us then we have the LV two which is the the veterans who come and check the work that you do the veterans they delay they do bogus work they delete it and that's how come some people also didn't get money. If you don't assess well, you don't. You are not more objective. You are not more analytical. They just delete it. Delete it. You don't get money. You. It's just time wasted. So take your time and do quality assessment than doing plenty assessment. Even though when you do plenty, you are paid on the number of assessment that you do. But take your quantity, quantity assessment. So the LV two also work. That's the veteran. They will check the work of the reviewers. Then we have voting. Then decision makers, they decide on which proposal should get funding and which proposal should then get. The voters will come in and the voters also had about two weeks to vote. And then on uh, the day after Valentine 2024, voting results were announced. There were some disappointments. If you are, if you don't win proposal, you are disappointed. If you win, you are happy. And that's how it comes. And then the onboarding process begin and then they proceed to launch into a fan top. And so that's what we, so onboarding process and then they get they pay the people who are who worked the onboarding process in, involved onboarding proposals who have won and then they also pay projects that uh they, they pay the projects uh the projects that have, have won do what we call proof of life whether human beings are behind or machines came to submit them i guess so you have to do proof of life without proof of life they won't give you what And then they won't pay on the recorded. Then after everything, then they pay the community reviewers. So it's about a whole three month cycle. We are paid at the end of the three month cycle, and the money is worth it. It's worth the time. You work as a reviewer. You work for just three weeks in the whole three month process, and after three weeks, you wait for the end of the three months, and then you get paid, and your your money is is there for you to enjoy. So that is how the whole timeline works. So when they bring fan twelve. Time, uh, when fan 12 is launched, they will bring the timetable and I'll share with you so that you know when it's time for review, we all work and then we all do the work well. So we'll do the next event when it's approaching review so that we'll teach how to do quality review work. It's very, very important. Now, this is our community. You can scan this to join our community on, on WhatsApp. You can also join our Telegram, which is Yafu University. You can join uh, our WhatsApp channel too on, on this one, our Yafo Institute WhatsApp channel on this one. I must acknowledge our partners that have made it possible that we are building this crypto community. We have uh, Cardano, we have Solana, we have um, AidBlock, that's African Institute for DeFi and Blockchain. We have other partners like uh, Atlas, Liberty International. They are also, uh, they support like tech, freedom ideas so we must also acknowledge them and they, they are making this possible so all the partners that supported to make this possible that is our community join you can just scan it and then join but when we we I stop the presentation i'll share some of these links important links in the in the chat in the chat for everybody to have access to it on, on the call as well then other web three ecosystems we have this is solana ecosystem now solana ecosystem this is a very interesting i'll do a more practical thing on, on, on this one because i've opened the page down now here we call it it's it's, it's, it's we see they, they call it bounty and end so these are what we call bounties these are bounties 
and we have graphic designers and whatnot. If you're a graphic designer, they have a whole lot of work. But I want to people, the people with soft skills to appreciate that. I want people with soft skills to appreciate that when you 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 come into the crypto or the, the web three ecosystem, look at the work here. It says create a video showcasing a Jupiter what product. So you find out what Jupiter product is, and then you create a video on it, create a video content, and you get paid. This one says write a thread. This thread with what meme for PP program on Solana. So you're just like an educative content, but they say, make it funny. So you use meme to write the educative content so that it becomes engaging. And their bounty here is $500. And trust, they will pay you in USDC. They will pay you. The digital asset here is USDC. We have USDC, we have USDT. But they will pay you USDC because it's a Solana ecosystem. And trust me, you, you, you they will pay the $500. And this one is saying, uh, I want the writing one. I said, write a Twitter thread about uh, Synergist 1. So what is Synergist 1? You have to do a bit of research. Then write a Twitter thread about it. And then you submit it. That's $600. So you, your social media, this one is just your social media. You just cash out on it. And so people are being used on social media, but you can also channel it. We, we all here have social media channel. Whatever you do on social media is your own cup of tea. But I'm just telling you that we can put it to a different use. And the, the, the Web3 space is telling us that. And we are they are leading the conversation here. So let us not feel like, oh, it's huge work that we, it is in. Mm -mm -mm -mm. They are very, very simple. I'll go to the graphic design page to, so that you, you will see. But let me just share the info on the, this slide. And when I'm done, I'll go into detail for, for, for some of the things. Then when it comes to crypto social media, like Twitter, X, I mentioned Telegram, Reddit, Discord. If you don't have some of these social media pages on your on your phones, please, after this interaction, download them. If you don't know how it works, go to YouTube. Ask yourself, how does Discord work? Find out. We are in information age. Every information is, our, is at our disposal. We are wasting our bundle on things that are not profitable to us. So whatever you do on social media, if it doesn't pay you, advise yourself from today. You have, If you didn't know now, you know. Advise yourself. These are, when it comes to crypto ecosystems here, that is where all the information happens. But I must warn you, mostly, nothing will you do in cryptocurrency, okay? Or nothing will you do in um, the Web3 space. That will require that you share this thing. You share this. Nothing you will do will require that you share this. Every good thing, they are bad actors. And bad, the world is not perfect. We have, we have bad people who exist. And that's why we have crimes and whatnot. So if you enter a typical ecosystem, you, you should be mindful that people can come to your DM. They can send you a link. You click on the link. The link will tell you that enter your recovery phase. You think that, oh, you are just, no, 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 please stop. You They will take every money in your in your wallet. They will just take it away. That's why if you if you are, if you, you, do, you are skeptic about it and you, do, you are not very uh, tech savvy when it comes to security, just be on our our channels we will give you the update particularly this one this one this one this eight block chat community this the first one the local crypto community this one the, be there or you can join our yafu university sometimes we do public policy things and whatnot but solely crypto is this one the first one this and that is what i've scanned here this is solely crypto this eight block chat community solely crypto join that one and you you would you 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 I will synchronize every the information I try to share regarding Project Catalyst. I, I have it here. But if you also are you a bit adventurous, which I encourage people to do because they are I cannot have everything. Sometimes it's my business schedule also come. You can also go beyond and also bear fruit. Maybe Nathaniel is talking about uh, Project Catalyst. You can also go and discover other Project Catalyst that maybe I'm not aware of. And you also come and say also go and all, all participate in that ecosystem so that you all get money. Now, uh, I always end my lectures with this. I call it what? The, the, this is the internet ad, uh, advert for electricity. Today, we are in Dumso in Ghana. But when electricity was invented, this is the, it was uh, when we invented electricity, this this was the advertisement, anti-electricity advertisement that was done in 1910. That they say, hey, you are going to use electricity. And you don't know. It will backfire. It can, it can electrocute you. So stop. Don't don't use electricity, please. There are people who advocate that hey, the lines will cover all the skies. So uh, if you are walking cry, it can electrocute you and you die. So run away, don't use electricity. But today 
if you if you if you look at it and you think about the people in 1910 you probably think they were foolish but mind you we are in 2024 and we are talking about digital what decentralized technology and we are talking about working in web3 100 years from now your your great great grandchildren will come and say ah so my mother when he was there he heard about this cryptocurrency didn't he think of acquiring the guitar asset or what <laughs> so don't be hard on them because we are also in an era that we are also having inventions that we have not even adopted even though we are living in it so that's how it is so but let us not be like them to run negative ad on it so i will say thank you very much my presentation has come to an end you can follow yafo institute on twitter social media you can also follow myself twitter facebook everywhere you can also follow the institute as well uh facebook telegram whatsapp channel everywhere we are there so you can also follow us so my my, my i've ended let me close that and then we'll come to question and answer so i'm done with my presentation at this juncture i'll like uh, let me stop i don't know let me stop there I don't okay you let, let, let the live stream continue i wanted to stop the live stream but you let the live stream continue so uh i'm back so let us all have an interaction so let me hear from you what you, you had uh we, we now know how to prepare ourselves for fan 12. so that is the purpose for for this we are preparing for fan 12. that is why uh we are we, we are doing all this activity now, uh, I wanted to share this. Okay, so let me let me quickly share this one. Uh, that is the work on 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 the crypto ecosystem. Can you all see my screen now? Can you see my screen? Not showing. No, please. Okay. Uh, I thought okay okay i'm coming sorry i've shared the screen but i uh come on. It's, i've shared the screen but i haven't opened it come on. Uh, let me stop sharing come on. come on. uh there, there was some small mistake uh -huh, okay good so i've shared it now you should see it in any moment from now good uh -huh. So I shared it, but I'm not opening it on my screen. That's why you're not seeing it. So this is the this is called Super Team. This is for Solana ecosystem. Now, what what is on this platform is uh you see here we are looking at uh, what do you call it? The platform I've talked about. So this is my profile. I, I just created my, my profile so that I can be there. So you see this one. I just came to the graphic, those who are graphic designers, so content. If you are into research. You are into research, okay? You can do research and write. You are into research and writing. Say, Twitter manager needed. You see, Twitter manager. So you just click and say, write a Twitter thread about. You see the work I talked about. So when you click on this one, so this is how it works. When you come to the platform, you just click on it. Okay, maybe there, there's, I'm getting some error. Our internet tools will help us so that this thing I'm doing here can be. So it said about hyper uh, video creation. I want to use some, I want to, Pick some example V and then uh, uh, let's see. It's a create a friggy. Oh, I don't know why it's not opening. But uh, the bottom line is that, okay, let me try this one. I don't know why when I open it. Good. I don't know what, when I, I open it, then it just see browser console information. I don't know why it's not um, showing. But the, the point is that they have the bounty page will open. When I when I click, I don't know why it's, it's, it's not open. This, this is the bounties. So you click on it to activate the bounty and you do the work. When you do the work, there's a, 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 a place to submit the work. You just go and write it on your Twitter. You write it on your Twitter. Then you, you share the link to it. When you share the link to it, they click on it, they will see it. So when they see it, then once you win, they just give it to some of the, you need to read about the bounty. And sometimes they can share the, the money. Maybe first we'll get 250, second we'll get two, uh, 200, and uh, 150, 100. Some of them they share the top, the first, and whatnot. So it, it's very competitive as well. It's not as if maybe you click on it and then 
they just give it to first person. So uh -huh, that is it, it, it's it's just pops at the right side of my screen, but for some reason it just go off again. I don't know why, but uh, I don't know why the application is not allowing the shift. I don't know why. But another important thing over here is that aside the the money, you see, people are also posting recent ones. You see, new ones that they are posting. You see, it just this is working. Aside the working, if you are an entrepreneur and you have ideas that you want funding on, you can just quickly come down there. Uh, there there's a part where they give projects. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, this is gifts. These are short, short gifts. Uh -huh, good. This is where I'm looking for. Yeah, here, here. So you see here, this one, they are giving what? Development grants. So if you have maybe a, an idea, just make your idea have a component of decentralized technology in it. And you can enroll your idea on the Solana ecosystem and you can apply for funding. You see, they have categories and one beautiful thing is, see, see, it's not, I always say, see, they have even a funding category for what, Nigeria. So we can also be predominant in the community. And you can also have funding category for your community. We have Malaysia. They solely have a grant category for people in Malaysia. And this is UAE grants. And this is Africa. So we can take advantage. And we can also apply. So you look at, the categories are huge. You look at the one that suits you or fits your idea. This one, they are giving up to $15,000. And they, 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 they are looking at developer tooling. So you look at what they are looking for. Can you create it? You can team up with people in tech. You don't need to have technology idea to, to be there. Or it's like, you don't need to be an engineer to be a CEO of a car company, no. So don't limit your imagination. Maybe you have some ideas on creating some tech base app, but you don't have it. You don't have the, tech, uh, the skill. You write, submit your idea. When you get the funding money, you or you get the funding, you you call those who are in the tech base, uh, those who have the technical expertise, and you employ them to execute your idea for you. I don't know if it's yours. So this is funding up to what they say they can give you as and they can give you as low as one dollar up to five thousand uh, fifteen thousand dollars. So any amount you can come and ask for it. So and you just if you want to click, you see submit now. You just click on it. And then you what? Go and fill the forms. Some, see, trust me, in the Web3 space, the forms are not so bulky. Okay, the forms are not so bulky to fill. And some are very short form. Look at the form, look at the form, look at the form. I want you to appreciate it. Look at the form, very simple form. You put in your mouse and everything. They take your what's Telegram username. That's why I asked you to go and create what? Discord. Because they ask for those things. Telegram username, your, your Discord handle, Telegram, and your what? Twitter. You need to submit, they need to know you. And then you, you submit it. Once you submit this and you are done, voila, the, the money is given to you and then you are going to what? You are supposed to go and execute, execute it. Now, uh, that is that with the in-depth that when it comes to the work. Now, if you look at the platform that I was showing to, there was also one component that has to do with uh, USDC. USDC is also a crypto asset or a digital asset. So initially um, initially I, I was talking about just one platform which is the i talked about one wallet which is the what do you call it the chrome wallet okay just the chrome wallet so uh, i say chrome sorry the ure wallet now we have other wallets like the We have other wallets like uh, Trust Wallet. We have other wallets like Nomi Wallet. So can you all see my, my screen right now? Can you all see my screen? Yes, yes please. Sir. Yes, please. Great. 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 Thank you very much for the feedback. So the other wallet, this is Trust Wallet. Okay, so you can just download Trust Wallet in your Google Chrome and use the Trust Wallet extension. And this is my trust wallet extension. I can I'll show you to you. This is the uh, uh, one I created for the purpose of this video. 
I, I came to Fawcett. I wanted to get some money in the the where's the extension? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Trust wallet. Yeah, trust wallet, trust wallet, trust wallet. I send you. Okay. I don't know. Okay, if trust wallet is messing up, let me use the MetaMax wallet. But uh, in the meantime, let me find my trust wallet because uh, it's very important. I'm coming. Okay. okay so trust wallet says, trust wallet is now responding. It wants me to enter some. Hey, I forgot the password. Come. So trust wallet, good. So can you all see my trust wallet extension? That is what I have here. Let me see if I can expand this. Hey, I was about to show you my color face. Can't see yourself. Good. So this is the trust wallet extension. Now, if you come to your trust wallet, like you can, you can even download trust wallet in your. Uh, from your Play Store and also your your uh, Apple Store, you can download Trust Wallet. You can go to the same process. You just click uh, Create Wallet. They give you the seed phrase. You enter and blah blah. You, you you just go through. So when you come here, sometimes they they ask you for a particular currency that they want to pay you in because the cryptocurrency and the ecosystem. There are plenty. These are all crypto projects. Plenty crypto. Plenty. It's not just limited to Solana or or what not. So I just. Mention Solana, okay. The, the ecosystem that we went in, into this is Solana, okay. So you look at if it is Solana, you are receiving in Solana, you need to come and take Solana. Um, what do you call it? Uh, this is USDC, the, the coin that they were they were paying in. This is USDC. So because it is Solana, you, you have to come and look for the USDC that is Solana because I don't know why it's not here, but uh, on your phone, you have Solana USDC. Okay, so that so let me take the polygon USDC. Yeah, once you you on you put this thing on, you are just like activating the. You are only activating the wallet, and you find it back when you go to your. When you open your wallet, you just find. It. So, if you are receiving money, you have done work. They say, bring. Uh, you are receiving your money, so you just click on receive. You say proceed anyway. This is a dummy uh, wallet I just created. So once you, you click, click on receive, once you enter USDC, please note, this is Polygon. It is not the same as Solana. Then you click, you just copy your receiving address. Once I go and paste my receiving address, they can pay me, whether they are in from Azerbaijan to, to Puerto Rico, anywhere they can pay you the money. It will come. Your digital assets can come. You can also use Metamax wallet. Metamax wallet is also one of the wallets. You can use this, this is Metamax wallet. This is why I was trying to get some coins here, like corset coin, but I didn't I didn't get it. So you are supposed to do some tax, but I mean I, I just stopped it. That's why the coin is showing zero 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 zero. So here, if you are receiving in maybe Cardano, it's important you go and add Cardano network. Let's say Cardano. Okay, you add Cardano network. If it is not appearing, you, you add it manually. Okay, there's a way of adding it manually, but this tutorial is not for like this is not for that so we just go with the ones that exist uh -huh. so if you're adding it man they will give you you just go and pick this information and then you just come and uh, add it manually to there and then you have it as part of the the network i'm, I'm not using you now so that if you have, have it as part you can just switch to it you see that it's here i just switch to the, the network that I, i'm working i'm working in so it's important that you make sure that your network agrees. And so uh, add manually. You see that it is asking of those information. So you just add. So coin name, you just add Cardano. Okay. Network name, you add Cardano. You add the URL, chain ID. Those This information on the internet, I just explore. I just get it and then add it. Once I do that, the, it will just open for me. And then uh, I'll have it. And I'll have it there. Then I can copy it from there. But... Aside that, if you are receiving, you just click, maybe I've done something, they are paying me in, in Matic, okay? I just click on my receiving address, I copy my receiving address, and then go and submit. So like I I, I mentioned, there are numerous crypto um, projects. Let me 
share my last screen that I prepared for this evening. This one. Where, where are you? The last one for this evening. Then we can go into question and answers. The last one I prepared for tonight. Oh. Um. Good. So this is it. So the, on this page, this is Square Market Cap. Eh? There are a lot of crypto projects in the world. And I want to run you through some. Look at it. Plenty of crypto projects. Cardano on by judging by Square Market Cap, Cardano is about number 10. So we so whatever work we did for Fan 11, it is just in Cardano ecosystem. Whatever we are doing is just in Cardano ecosystem. This is Solana ecosystem, and this is as well, so we, we have a lot. And I said Cardano is number 10. You see Cardano. This is they rank the coins by coin market uh, the, by their coin market cap. That is their price. You multiply the price of the coin by the total uh, amount of coin in circulation, and then you get the coin market cap, and then they use it to rank. So plenty crypto projects, and this is we have ended and this is page one out of what page what 99 so if i go to page 99 there are a lot of crypto projects maybe you have not even heard of plenty they are a place where you can find a lot of crypto projects and the ecosystems you can just explore and try and find out something new so maybe if i want to do something in polka dot ecosystem i click on poker no where is it Okay, you find some basic information about Polkadot. This is Polkadot. You find their white paper as well, what their project is about. You can look at it and download it. You can look at their project and download it. Uh, you, you read their white paper, it's on their website. You see, it's on their website. And when you read their white paper and, and you download it, then, then you can also join their community. This is the ecosystem community, this is it. Once you click on this one, it will take you to their Telegram pages, their LinkedIn pages, and that's where you can get all their informations and mostly pay attention to their announcement pages. You see their, their link in their Reddit page, their GitHub page, their Discord. page. I'm not exploring the, that ecosystem. So you then let me just close and let me stop sharing my screen. So these are opportunities within the web trade ecosystem that we can all, all take advantage of okay so at this time i'm taking myself out uh, anything you didn't understand uh, you can you can ask this time for question and answers you can ask you can ask and then we 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 will peacefully And if not, we we will we have to stop casting uh, on the on the internet. We have, I'll stop broadcasting, and then we'll move into uh, uh, our breakout rooms. We'll move into our breakout rooms. So I think maybe people to let me stop the broadcast on the internet so that so like your question and answers. I should stop it on the internet so that you can feel free to ask your in-house questions. So uh, let me. Stop.